Hello, you little cherubim. How are you all doing? I'm just going to uh, zone and see energies and ask for the most important message for whoever needs it. Okay, so I'm going to invite in those who walk in the love and the light of the positive polarity to join me now. Any ancestors, guides, past on loved ones, please feel free to use me as your messenger. So we're going to see what comes out on the tarot lottery. Okay, so uh, let me just get these cards harmonized and in order. I've had some really lovely, lovely uh, emails from you all. I haven't had time to respond to all of them, but just know that I have, uh, you know, I'm very much aware that I have a lot to respond to. So I might have to, you know, rethink <laughs> how I'm sort of coming across because uh, I'm a one woman army, guys. I'm a, I'm a one woman army. So I only have so much time in the day to do a lot of things. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I had another comment from someone who tried to get a free reading out of me last year, and she was quite expectant, you know, not sure if she's a narc or not, but she certainly comes across like one, and uh, very entitled, and she just left me a shitty comment saying, so you just come here when you want to, yes, I've got free will, yes, what did you think, I worked for the government, what did you think, I was your slave, it's so funny, okay, we've got the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, Two of Pentacles, a Seven of Cups, the Two of Wands. Someone's going through a real reevaluation, is what I would say here. This is a big crossroads for somebody, you know. And the move you make now will dictate the next phase of your life with the Wheel of Fortune. So this is about planning things out. Ooh, looks like chaos here. We've got the Two of Cups down here and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, with the Star. Okay, so this is a really clear and obvious message for somebody here. Someone you've been dealing with, I, or a situation you've been in. It was messy, okay? For whoever this resonates with, it's a messy situation that I feel like Spirit was giving you the opportunity to be like, you know, I'm going to really reevaluate everything. I'm surprised we haven't seen the tower out because we've got the two of wands here. And it's just giving me this strong reevaluation vibe. Like you've really got to get some energy moving because there's something really good waiting for you here with the Two of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Star. So this could be a little reevaluation period. I'm getting for someone, there are details. There are details they need you to notice or to not make any big decisions before you get all the information. Okay, we've got the Hermit with the Two of Pentacles. So time out to slow things down okay there's a real need to slow your mind down here and to get a clear stream of consciousness flowing through yeah we've got the two of swords again with the we've got all the twos here two 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 and the two of cups okay so we've got like uh this is like having four aces in poker <laughs> all right this is rare when you get four twos coming out like this okay so two 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 so it looks to me like there's going to be some big big changes before a very big relationship situation comes in but this is funny we've got the five of wands also show me this two of wands please seven of swords okay this is why there's details details that need your attention okay there's something you're not seeing here knight of cups with the wheel of fortune i feel like something else could be distracting you and because something's distracting you and keeping chaos in your life, you're not seeing all the details. That's for somebody out there because we've got the world card here. I feel like something's pulling you back into an old situation when actually you've been given many escape hatches. Okay, Knight of Cups, you've been given plenty of opportunities to see your value and escape from something here. All right, because this is literally like saying you've learned everything you need to know here. And the detail maybe that you're not getting is that something is just a mess, all right? This is not for everyone. This is for someone out there. Page of Cups. So this is like someone keeps reaching out to you. I'm hearing it's just because they're lonely and weak, all right? And when you get older, you know that. You see that very clearly. So if this is someone younger, it feels like weakness to older people. Because we've done all that. We've done all that crap, right? But... It looks to me that your challenge here is to enjoy your own company and to really sort of be in your own lane and to make your own fortune with the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Cups. This is about you really embracing your independence, 
but not for long because look we've got the two of cups the ten of pentacles and the star so sometimes there can be a relationship set up for you that you're not meant to come into for a year or two years and spirit wants to see you really do the responsible things and do them for the right reasons you know do them because you want to do them and then bang we've got the ten of cups the ten of pentacles so this is really looking like someone's going to be turning their mind around here all right so this is almost like you seeing yourself as the creator of your own fortune wheel of fortune twice so there's something about you seeing yourself as a star i'm really letting the wheel turn on some sort of situation over here with a knight of wands okay someone who's played games with you a lot someone who's flighty they're in and out they're unreliable and I feel like you've already called judgment on this, but sometimes there's something that makes you want to go back in, you know, like maybe you don't like the feeling of disappointment this person left you with. Maybe it feels unfinished, but this is where you get the pivotal chance to really be the powerful one. Stand up and walk away from the table. You know what I mean? We don't play hands we can't win. All right. That's going to always be my advice. Never play a hand you can't win. And there's no happy ending to an unhappy story. So this is about you paving the way with your own happiness, your own practical practical understanding. And again, there's a sense of maybe it's boring, you know, moving away from the drama and, and the action, right? It's just action for the human mind. But... Someone's got a chance here to really fly away with their dreams and to really come into something that's way better in the future. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups with the Two of Cups. Okay, title card coming out. So this is like the wild card. This is you having the freedom on the board to make any move in any direction. Like the queen on the board. So you don't have to move like a king when you've got the power of the queen on the board to just get up and fly, you know, reversal. Spirit wants you to reverse this situation, to take your cards, <laughs> to fold your cards, to take your chips and to cut your losses here. Okay, reversal energy. What's this thing? What's this thing they're not seeing, Spirit? Yeah, death. So it's like something's already over, but there's some part of you that has refused to really accept that. You know it logically, of course, but the emotional energy has kept on moving, okay? Sometimes things have to get really bad before we'll really, really leave something or change something. But what Spirit wants you to do is get ahead of the game and pick yourself up and, and walk away before things get even worse and you you wish you did it sooner does that make sense we've got manifestation here so you've got all this power to really be the creator and to truly truly get up and go here and they want you to really embrace that this time i'm getting embrace that this time don't wait for things to get even worse okay so i don't know what that means or who it means it to between worlds you've got to pick here you've got to pick this colorful world with the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups and good harmonic relationships or the gray confusion that the seven of swords brings you know that the knight of wands in this instance brings fighting arguing you know and our animal nature humans can get addicted to that humans can get addicted but you've got a spirit guide watching you here hoping you're going to make the right decision hoping you're going to choose the more sensible option hoping you'll choose peace and calm and love i mean there's love on the table here lots of beautiful love yeah they want you to choose the path of least resistance the path of calm the path of gracefulness okay one more of these there we go so this is your chance here to be super happy and to really start creating something you want. They want you to make a definitive decision to not keep looking back, to not keep pulling someone's energy onto your timeline again when you've already got rid of them. They're saying we know it's easy in the modern era where it just feels like texting someone. It feels so easy to just text someone, but understand that you are remixing their energy in with your entire movie of your life right so they want you to see it as if it's a movie and they want you to make a big move 
okay i'm getting montage kind of energy they want you to create your own montage in your head and move in the direction of who you truly truly think that you are here because someone's been tempted to text someone back that you already know is bad for you there's something here about it just being maybe you know a little addictive on a friday night we all know how that feels you know we all know how that feels to just crave company human company tribe but there's a big opportunity here for you to get with someone way better all right so we've got navigating by the stars follow your bliss and they want you to follow your bliss all the way to this new world that's being created for you a big beautiful new world show me finding sanctuary open to your spiritual source so you, like i say you've got that guide that's watching you and i feel like you know maybe they're they're overseeing this lesson for you because this is something you possibly didn't complete in a previous life okay so narrow pathway tread thoughtfully all right this is something that is a test for you and you know they keep coming at us there's no end to uh the tests because we chose this we all wanted to be here to uh loot the realm essentially but um tread thoughtfully here because i feel like for someone there's this challenge for you to really begin a new cycle first light okay and to stop this idealistic loop where you end up being disappointed over and over again this night i want here could be someone you've actually spent um you know a few a couple of movies with in previous lives you've, you've done a few scenes with them before you know and this time it's your chance to reclaim your power here it's your chance to reclaim your power and, and really dissolve a karmic contract or learn a lesson better so that you can take it with you for all eternity in future so your challenge is to truly close the door and slam the door on something that you know logically isn't going to bring you any true long-term stability not like the things that are waiting for you but it is a good opportunity for you to really get out of that habit of just you know socializing just for the sake of it or continuing a loop with someone who hasn't shown you the right respect just because it's someone to chill with or to hang with is this making sense it says lots of lovely energy for, for you here to start a new cycle with and yeah i feel like with this black cat here you've got huge manifestational power okay and some sort of chaos and conflict has been keeping you away from that so this is a, a strict ancestral message for somebody that you're going through something that the universe is challenging you to do differently this lifetime to pick yourself to pick your own power to pick making your own luck and being your own lucky charm all right let's let's grab one let's see what happens okay wow wow we've got the white rose here innocence okay that's what the white rose is all about it's about innocence and purity and friendship and in this case i'm getting being your own best friend really doing what's right for you treating yourself the way you would treat your own child in terms of don't put up with anything from any man or woman or, or anyone you're dating if you wouldn't want your child putting up with that or your best friend or your mother you get where i'm going with this so you gotta be your own best friend we've got the sun and moon combined here okay i'm hearing i'm every woman or i'm every man you this is the power of the masculine and the feminine combined okay the sun and the moon so i'm hearing you've got it all within you you've got everything within you that you need to really make a strong strong decision that will interrupt the pattern of whatever has been going round and round show the universe that you've learned your value here okay that's what the universe wants you to do to give an energetic offering uh, in terms of how you're behaving or what you're doing that shows the universe you are in this new world you get to decide okay no hanging around we are the creators writers and directors of our own realities so they want you to really make a firm director's decision okay i'm hearing director's cut so they want you to realize that you're in charge here and you can cut someone out of the scenes and really be the one who decides uh, uh i'm in a new world now all right so i hope this is making sense for somebody out there i love you loads remember that beautiful innocent heart and tread thoughtfully my darling beautiful things to come 
lots of love.